to begin with, um, the first thing I do on this project is to plane the bottom of the piece of uh, ash wood that I'm using. And I do that um, at 90 degrees. I, I do that across the grain. Um, I found this works best because the, the wood chips chips better this way. If I if I route it parallel to the grain, then the ch then the chips are um, you get these long splinters which clog up the dust extraction. Uh, that that can be a real pain. Um, so so I, I I use this. I like routing across the grain more. It, it works better. Now to begin with, I'm I'm fi figuring out where the tablet is going to go on the piece of wood. Uh, what's going to work best, and then I'm clearing out the inside of the of the tablet again. To begin with, across the grain, and then the final pass will be with the grain. Um, that way, a, a, across the grain is actually it's not good when you when you want to sand the piece off. So I so I the final pass I always do with the grain because that that ends up a lot smoother um, the finish, and then I don't have to do so much sanding. Um, the bit I use to begin with is a 12 millimeter. You can see it lying on the on the router table in front of the piece. Um, it's a 12 millimeter single flute, um, and then and then finally to cut it out, I'm using a I'm using an 8 millimeter twin flute um, straight bit. Um, so here I'm cutting it out. Um, then then on the next step. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a jig, um, which is which is really quite a simple jig, um, which consists of just the the outside shape of the of the tablet, uh, which I put the tablet in, and then the router knows and the machine knows exactly where the tablet is, and 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 that way the, the tablet is fastened upside down. And I can router out the bottom of the handles. Um, yeah, and that's and that's really it. Uh, the, so the routing's done now. I do go over to the sanding. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show all of this. This this took several hours. Um, I have to say that, as you can see here, the the, the routing is far from perfect. Um, th this is the first time of. I've done a tablet like this, so um, it could do with quite a bit of improvement, uh, improving the, the routing. For finishing, I'm I'm using a um, a wax, like a liquid wax from from Osmo. Um, it's it's called transparent white. Um, I find it goes really well with with ash. Um, ash is obviously a, this this very light grained um, wood, and and this. Um, this transparent white wax, it kind of really brings out the figure of the wood without, you know, it, it kind of bleaches it out a bit, but not, not too much. 
you know it's it's mostly transparent and then some of the white kind of gets caught in the in in parts of the of the of the wood grain